Today's Daily Idea is brought to you by DailyHub.com. Hi, I'm Nikki Key, and you're watching The Daily Idea. So you're thinking about getting married? Well, it's about time. But before you get ahead of yourself, a few of the amateur marriage counselors here at The Daily Idea put together a list of some things to keep in mind prior to getting hitched. Marital bliss is all about honesty. That includes your past relationships. It's important to know a little bit about your partner's previous partners, if you know what I mean. You don't want any major surprises after you've already said I do. If we're going to get married, I think we need to be honest with each other about our past. You mean my past? Well, yeah. <laughs> Research shows married couples fight most often about money and sex. You can avoid some arguments over both with a few honest discussions while you're still dating. Start with a review of everyone's salary and savings and especially any outstanding debt. This will help you get an idea of where you'd be starting financially and prepare you for any incompatibilities in your spending habits. I printed this out for you. Uh, I have about 4,000 in savings and about 1,000 in checking. Uh, I've organized them by type of bill and then also by month. Wow, uh, that's, quite a, that's quite a system you have, have there. Yeah, I, I pay my, all my bills on time when they come in, so I don't have any debt. How about you? Um, yeah, uh, I have about $18 in checking. Um, I, I keep my financial records right here. Uh, I fold them and then I put them sideways so it keeps them organized. So that's pretty good. Yeah, it's, uh, it's quite a system you have there. Talking about kids too soon is probably one of the quickest ways to find yourself single again. But once you're both looking toward marriage, it's a good time to find out if you're both in favor of a family or not. I can't wait to coach our kids someday in basketball. <laughs> I assume you mean the neighborhood kids at the YMCA. No, I'm, I mean our kids. What, what, you're telling me you don't want to have kids? I don't really like the idea of actually having kids. Maybe Brad and Angelina will give us one of theirs. <laughs> I like the one with the funny name. <laughs> Lots of married couples find out too late their face don't match. Inevitably, one party wants to get married in a church with an alcohol-free reception. The other party wants a five-minute ceremony with ice-cold beer waiting in the parking lot. And that's just the trivial stuff. There are much bigger issues concerning faith that you should know before you're built halfway down the aisle. Okay, so how often do you go to church? Um, usually two or three times a week. Sometimes Saturday, but usually just Sundays and Wednesdays. How often do you go? I go two days. Oh, two days a week? Yeah, no, t two days. Christmas and Easter. Yeah. And finally, while there are certain issues you shouldn't discuss at dinner parties, that doesn't mean you can avoid controversial topics at home. Issues that you feel strongly about, your fiancé may feel just as strong on the opposite side. Take an evening to go over your hot button issues to see where you agree and where you need to agree to disagree. We don't agree on anything, huh? What about politics? Democrat. Green Party. I voted for Nader in 04. You just wasted your vote. So did you. Maybe opposites really do attract. Apparently they also divorce about 50% of the time. So consider these issues before you start thinking about a wedding date. Oh, and let us know what you decide about the reception because we're planning to get a little schnookered. And that's another daily idea. Are you looking for the newest and best business content on the web? DailyHub.com covers topics ranging from marketing and finance to sales and strategy. Visit DailyHub.com today. Thanks for watching another daily idea. Now don't just sit there, get involved. You can get each daily idea in your inbox, RSS reader, and iTunes. You can even follow us on Twitter. And since you seem nice, friend us on MySpace or Facebook. Just pick your favorite and we'll save you some time. Finally, we've had some great ideas come from viewers just like you. 
You can submit your ideas through our website at dailyidea.tv. Thanks again for watching.